Hi, I'm Peachy Pie. Welcome back to my channel and you are most welcome to join me here. Today we are going to take a look at some people who may be speaking out in support of Amber Heard and we're going to discuss why that is the case. So I checked around on TikTok and I was trying to find some people expressing their opinion but all I found was a bunch of accounts having these like photo kind of meme things and adding some music to it and then a bunch of Johnny Depp stands like literally trying to say go kill yourself in the comments like what is wrong with people but anyway let's get started by Charlotte Proudman uh, titled why do people blindly support Johnny Depp I'll tell you why okay I, I don't quite know about the blindly supporting Johnny Depp I do see some people taking things to the extreme which is really really concerning let's just try and understand this article and where this individual is coming from because all points of view are valid not all points of view are correct but all are valid so let's have a look um, the little blurb says as a barista I see many victims of domestic abuse being sued for defamation, for daring to speak out about what the perpetrator did to them. Meanwhile, the world questions whether they are a real victim. Very true. This does actually happen quite a lot. However, we have to remember that misogyny also plays a role in whether men can be considered victims. So the article starts, uh, if she was scared to death, why didn't she leave? Asked everyone's favorite Hollywood heartthrob turned bad boy Johnny Depp in court. He was, of course, talking about his ex-wife Amber Heard, who he is suing for libel in the US over an article she wrote for the Washington Post in 2018. During her testimony, the actress has accused Depp of physical and sexual abuse. If Depp's phrase feels familiar, that's because it is. Survivors, families of victims and domestic abuse campaigners have worked tirelessly to stop society using such blame, victim blaming tropes. Okay. Instead of asking a woman why she didn't escape the abuse, ask the man why he abused her in the first place. You see, I already have a problem with this, with this article. Let's stop referring to abuse victims and perpetrators as male and female. They can be anyone. We have to deal with the issues in the context of the abuse, not in the context of the gender of the individuals involved. <sighs> this is going to be fun, isn't it? <laughs> Escaping an abusive relationship is one of the most dangerous times for victims. Very true. There's statistics that about 70% of homicides related to abuse cases happen after the victim has the courage to leave the abusive relationship, right? Just because the relationship ends, it doesn't mean the abuse ends. Post-separation, coercive and controlling behavior is one of the most insidious and corrosive forms of abuse that I've ever seen. Yeah, this does happen to victims of abuse. However, Amber opened the door to this by making it seem as if Johnny was the person she was talking about in her op-ed. Had she made really generalized statements and not actually alluded to the fact that he was the abuser and then came to court and said, this wasn't about you, this was my experiences and then not actually directly spoken about the situations involving Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp wouldn't be defending himself in court and Amber Heard wouldn't be in the position that she's in right now. There's nothing wrong with the victim talking out about the abuse. The problem comes in when we have a victim talking about the abuse and no one is allowed to respond to that. No one's allowed to question that because people do lie. I don't know if you know the Charlotte, but people lie and people do horrible things to each other. And we can't ignore the fact that Amber is not always telling the truth 100% of the time. And we also can't ignore the fact that Johnny is also not telling the truth 110% of the time. However, when Johnny does tell the truth, he has the receipts to back it up. That he is telling the truth. And he's got the reliable sources. And Amber does not. So I'm not saying that Amber wasn't abused. I'm just saying that you cannot blindly support a female who claims they are a victim of abuse without considering both sides of the situation and checking whether or not these things are lining up correctly. 
Depp lost his defamation claim in the High Court in London 2020. He was greeted with adoring fans, throwing roses at him, blowing kisses and holding supportive banners. I stood next to him after we passed through security. He smiled and I gave him my best dead eyes. Oh, congratulations to you. You are the pinnacle of evolution because you gave someone dead eyes. Congratulations. Let's bear in mind that Johnny was suing a newspaper over defamation in the UK. He wasn't suing Amber in the UK, he was suing a newspaper. They get to say whatever the hell they want. The judge later found that Deb physically assaulted her, including headbutting her, tearing out clumps of her hair and holding her by the neck. And she has said she feared for her life. Deb is alleged to have sent texts to his friends Paul Bethany, threatening to burn her and if her burn corpse afterwards to make sure she is dead. That is a quote. Um, I would like to ask Charlotte here. You've never sent a bad text about someone you really, really resented. Never? You've never said, I wish this person was dead. And then, like, if they ended up dead, would the police not knock on your door and be like, hey, so we discovered this text that you sent about someone saying you wish they were dead and now they're dead? Or does that make you guilty? It makes you angry. It makes you angry and it makes you express your anger to someone that you can trust in that moment because it's better to express yourself quietly to people that you trust than to go out of your way to attack another person because that is not necessarily the sign of someone who's physically abusive that's the sign of someone who's perhaps trying to control themselves by not directing their anger at the person they're angry with so it is telling that Deb's dragging her through a second high profile profile trial in the US hoping for a better outcome. He's suing her for a whopping 50 million. This looks to me like serious financial control. How so? How so? How is it controlling when they are going to a court that is supposed to be fair? Financial control is going to be a situation where the victim does not have the ability to control the outcome of the financial abuse or financial control. So I, I don't understand where you're coming from, Charlotte. Anyway, both cases in England and the US center on silencing her from speaking about the abuse she says he inflicted on her. I, I don't see how that is the case, especially considering that they put video cameras now in the courtroom so we could all enjoy the spectacle. I mean, if Amber says Johnny did awful things to her, we are all going to see it. So unless she's not telling the truth, and this would be making her look bad, she has ample opportunity to express herself to the entirety of the public. How is this him trying to shut her up? Him trying to shut her up would be making her sign a non-disclosure agreement in some sort of way. Yet even at the end of their relationship, it appears that wasn't the case. So why did he shut her up? Because he has the resources to do that. So I think you should really pay attention to the things that you're saying and thinking and really just reason it out and unpack it quite a lot more than what you're doing, Charlotte. I do appreciate you talking out on behalf of victims of abuse, but I think that you need to consider that mutual abuse could very well be the case that what happened here. So that means that both people are victims and both people are perpetrators. And that's going to affect them and affect the opinions of the court and affect the opinions of supporters in different ways. So it's a very, very nuanced case. And it's I think it's one of the first high profile cases in which mutual abuse is depicted. I see many victims of domestic abuse being sued for defamation for daring to speak out about what their perpetrator did to them. The world sits in judgment questioning whether her is a real victim. Does she look like a victim? Does she speak like a victim? Does she cry like a victim? Why not? Why Why not? Why should we not question this? Should we just blindly believe every person that comes up? Because what if you have an abuser, which is often the case as well, unfortunately, that comes out to say that the victim abused them. And they've got all these cases and events that they can say and tell you but their behavior is not consistent with someone that has been abused. We need to look at that because then the individual that's really the, 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 the victim of the abuse can be undergoing continued abuse and also can be the victim of huge amounts of prejudice and defamation in the community and in their workspaces. These people also deserve a voice. Everyone deserves a voice. A, a victim and an abuser deserve 
to speak out about this situation and we deserve to have justice run its course and have the truth come out in the courtroom in that specific space i know it's hard for victims to speak out about their abuse i'm not saying that everyone will be capable of this but if you're going to say something about someone that can jeopardize their income can jeopardize their standing in the community and can jeopardize their relationship with their family you have got to be prepared to stand by those accusations honestly and have them defend themselves because that is their right as a human being where are the headlines asking if Depp is a perpetrator judging him on every move that he makes there are no special measures in court Depp sits there smiling while heard he loves abuse and trauma. Girl, your ass is so biased, I don't even want to continue anymore. I mean, I, I, it is beyond me how you can listen to the situation, watch this whole situation play out in court, pick out the victim and just ignore everything else, but accuse everyone else of being biased. Girl, your you really you need to reevaluate the way you look at things because here's the problem you got a brother you got a father you got friends that are males many of them even all of them can be currently in abusive toxic relationships chances are none of them will tell you about it still in society we've got this perception that it's not necessary for men to be emotional or express their emotions the emotions are not valued and nobody cares about the abuse that they face because they need to grin and bear it like a man so this is the perception of society for the large part and to look at a victim any victim and say this person is innocent and the abuser is is the villain in the story is so dangerous because you could be having a situation and i've spoken about uh, a couple of days ago i spoke about the issue with um kim hyun jung and johnny depp and how the cases are very comparable in which women came out and spoke out against them accusing them of abuse yet the courts are finding them to be far less responsible for abuse in their relationships than the female counterparts. Of course, we can't say this for certain because we don't know the outcome of the of the Johnny Depp trial at this particular juncture. But we can say that these men are victims of some type of abuse. And we can say that we can't be biased against anyone in this situation because everyone has been part of mutual abuse but the evidence is showing that amber is either made up stories or amber has altered her stories or amber doesn't have the proper recollection of the stories or she's added details and things like that which makes it seem like she's lying about lots of different events and see whether or not her intention was to defame johnny depp which makes it an act of reactive abuse. That also makes her complicit in abuse because we know that abuse is not necessarily always as clean cut as one victim, one abuser. And the truth is those two people in that relationship deserve closure and they deserve to heal and they deserve to move on from this trauma. And if Amber had not written that article the way that she wrote it, I think they'd be well on their way to doing that now because she started this whole public war with Johnny Depp, who we can't ignore is a megastar. And the situation is such that he has a lot more resources than she has to protecting him, his image. Yet at the time, we did not see him make an attempt to do so. We didn't really see him make an attempt to say she's a liar. This is his first attempt really to defending himself. He went, take a look at this action. When the article uh, from The Sun, right? The article from, from the publication came out. He went after the newspaper, not after Amber. Isn't that quite interesting? Charlotte, I think you need to speak to some male victims of abuse because your worldview is incredibly, incredibly small. And if you ask men about certain instances of abuse, like if you ask men about relationships that they were in where girls just spent their money, that's financial abuse, honey. That is financial abuse. And the men will tell you lots of stories in which they protected women that you thought were fantastic or you thought were great and whatever. But they will tell you those stories because 
they now can do so without condemning that person or seeming like an angry, vindictive ex. And it's unfortunate that they weren't allowed that luxury in the first place. But the truth is they might not even tell you now. <laughs> they might not because they might not want you to look at them and think that they were weak because that's what our society has done to everyone. That's what our society has done to everyone. But anyway, those are just my thoughts on this issue. Please let me know what you think in the comments. I would appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. And let's go to our scripture of the day. Unless otherwise indicated, all the following scripture quotations are taken from the Holy Bible, New Living Translation, with copyright by Tyndale Mass Foundation, used by permission of Tyndale Mass Publishers, all rights reserved. Your scripture of the day comes from Revelation 2 verse 26, which says, To all who are victorious, who obey me to the very end, to them I will give authority over all the nations. You know, this this case is just making me so sad. It's making me so sad because I feel so sorry for both of the victims in this case, which is both Amber and Johnny. And I feel so sad that they came from situations where they felt they were abused or they were actually abused by parents. And then they ended up together and had this awful, awfully abusive and toxic relationship. I feel so sorry for them because even if anyone wins this case, everyone is lost in this case. And we got to remember how it's going to affect the appearance of the victims and the abusers, which they both are, long term after the case. It's awful. Nobody wins here. But I hope that you have a really good day further because you absolutely deserve it. And please try not to send hate for God's sake. You don't need to hate on Amber or Amber stands. Really, just don't be that immature. But anyway, thanks for being here. Have a great day. Cheers. Oh,